I'm Angela Stribling here with Michael Franks at the Capital Jazz Fest. How you doing? Good. Good. Welcome back to the Capital Jazz Fest. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we're always really happy you're getting ready to hit the stage in a little while. Yep. Excited? Um, yeah. <laughs> Come on, give me a little more excitement. <laughs> no, it's great. We, we, we've been here several times. I, I, yeah. I've lost count, but it's always a treat. Yeah, it's always a treat for us, too. And Thank you know, you. I'm, I'm teasing you, but you're always with this same very cool demeanor. You know, that's just who you are every time I see you. You're consistent, so that's just your personality. If you're on stage, backstage, right? I mean, do people accuse you of being cool? Yes, it's a compliment. <laughs> it is a compliment. You know, it's so funny. I don't know if you remember this, but one of the many times that you were here performing at uh, Capital Jazz Fest, between performances, the great Natalie Cole was here. And she was, you know, she was performing. You and I were backstage. We were sitting on this little, you know, bench. And then she went to, she was performing your song. Yeah. And I was like, Michael, are you gonna go out there with her? You don't, you're like, we didn't plan it, but if she wants me to, I will. I was just hoping that she would just turn around and see that you were there and, and perform it. Yeah, she was so great. We, yeah. we uh, when I was early, early in my career at Warner Brothers, I was at Warner's for 24 years. When I first started, they tried to pair me up with people to work. And we did a couple of great, uh, we had a couple of great concerts, Natalie and I, at, at the Greek Theater in L.A. And it was so great, and that's, so I met her quite a long time ago. And it was a treat when she recorded that tune. So whose idea was it? Did she come up and say, I'm, I'm just going to do your song? I got she... a call from uh, Tommy LaPuma, uh, you know, who, who also produced her, you know, produced me and produced Natalie also. And, and he said, I think she wants to do, uh, that tune and tell me all about it. And I said, great, you know. Wow. And I spoke to her, she was so nice every time she, and she really worked hard with it. You know, she went out and did all the TV shows, always sang that tune, always mentioned me, you know. And, uh, and then I ran into her, so, you know, later, maybe a year later, she was already working on another record, I think. And she said, oh, you know, I, I wish that record had done better, you know. Oh. And I said, Hey, thanks to you, I paid my mortgage off. You know, that, that, that was my. I, I, I say that too often every time we do the tune, but it was true. Everybody wins. Yeah. So when you're writing a song, I mean, in your songs, they're timeless. What is it about? Is it about your personal experiences or your observations with other people, your love life? Um, yeah, I think it's all of the above. You know, with liberal amounts of poetic license applied. You know. But yeah, it's kind of, you know, autobiographical, I guess. It starts that way and sometimes it, you know, takes a turn in a different direction. But that's lately, you know, I, my last record, I just finished a record which is coming out, I think, a week from yesterday. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. And um, Congratulations. Thank you. And, it, you know, it, it's been six or seven years, I think, since the last one. But I really enjoy uh, the writing part of it and, and casting the material, you know, thinking about producers and musicians. And so uh, I enjoy it as much as ever, but I like to take more time. I was going to ask you, because some people prefer the, just performing the songs. They, it's difficult to write. Most writers love having written versus the actual act and discipline of writing. So for you, is it the writing of the songs or the performing that you prefer? Hey, when, when, you know, when people want you to sing it, it's, <laughs> it's also great, you know, but they're disappointed if some of the tunes are, you know, they, they always want to hear, they always kind of have to be in the set, which is really great. Um, I do enjoy the writing part of it, you know, it's, it's kind of, it's more, you know, reclusive and I'm, I'm just kind of in my, in my room, my little studio room. And, oh, is that and, where you do it normally? Yeah, I I, uh, I have this very small little you know studio. It's a it's a you know, it's a computer type operation. Okay. And uh, but I have you know some nice instruments and I I work in there. You know I try to go in there for an hour or two every day, even when I'm not writing and just you know sing or play. Or I love to learn standards and things like that. 
That's good. That's a, it sounds like you're very disciplined with that because if you go in there, whether you have an idea to write or not, you're in the space. It really helps. It really helps. But um, I often come up with little ideas and I, I have a little, so I call it like a parts drawer where I keep ideas, you know. Not all of them, you know, survive, but, but sometimes they're, you know, and they're like a year later I'll, I'll listen to some of that stuff and I think, oh, then maybe there's something good there, you know. Um, but I've also really enjoyed uh, in my career collaborating. I, co I collaborated with Joe Sample a few times and, uh, and in fact, I think the last time I saw Joe, it might have been here when we were both here one time. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. And, um, I miss him. Me yeah, too. I really miss him. Yeah. His music is amazing. I've been, try I've been writing, trying to write down all my memories of, not all of them, but the ones that seem, <laughs> they might seem interesting, uh, you know, in my career with all the great players I've met and had the pleasure of working with, you know. Yeah. And Joe, especially, like, we, when we wrote those tunes, Al Jarreau sang one of them and I sang the other one on his record. And, and then I wrote, wow. uh, I wrote lyrics to Chain Reaction, which then mm. Joe played on, mm. on that record. Mm. And, oh, uh, my goodness. And it was great to work with him because he, <laughs> he was really fun to work with. This was back in the days when you'd, you know, do something on the phone and then hold the phone up to the speaker, you know, and play it. And <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it was old, old school, you know, but it was great. He was so much fun to wow. know, actually. And, uh, you know, you've collaborated with many people, many greats. If you had to, I guess, pick some of your favorite or one of your favorite artists that you've worked with, who would that be? Recording, you mean? Recording. Oh, yeah, it's really hard to choose. You know, I, I've been so fortunate I've been able to, you know, request, you know, ask for people. Yeah, pretty much. I, yeah, <laughs> you know, and, you know I, I, one of my records I loved as a young, you know, as a college student was, I, I loved Art Farmer, and I got to work with Art Farmer, you know. It was amazing to be sitting right next to Art Farmer and asking him about his life and his career, and uh, and I, I got to, uh, there's so many great players I've, I've worked with, and I, it would be impossible, really, to choose one. I could imagine. Yeah. That's like asking, do you have a favorite Michael Frank song? No, not really. Not really. <laughs> I would imagine that, I mean, I've got so many that I love of your songs. The ones, you know, you said earlier that you, there are some songs you can, people are going to make sure that you play them and you sing them. Popsicle Toes, is that one of yeah, them? Yeah, The Lady Wants to Know, that's, that's one. Yeah. Rainy Night in Tokyo, if, the, if that's not in the set, you know, people come up afterwards and say, hey, well, how come you're not playing Rainy Night in Tokyo anymore? You know? So that, those, there's a few that are kind of always in the lineup. Mm -mm. I love it. So I'm so happy to see you back here at the Capitol Jazz Festival. And uh, I know you're, you're touring around, but not, not a I, lot, I, you I say. I think we're doing 10 dates total, yeah. Or, okay. <laughs> it goes from, you know, that sporadically we finish in the mid-November, I think we were playing in New York, you know, a couple of, sh two days in New York. And otherwise, it's just a little bit, but at this point in my, you know, career, I... You're good. I am. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that a beautiful thing to say? I mean, your new record comes out in a week, mm -hmm. less than a week. Mm -hmm. So typically, you go out, you work the record, you tour all over the world, and it's a nonstop thing. Yeah. But isn't it wonderful to be able to choose whether or not you're going to do that and still be okay? Yeah, it's so great. I, I'm so yeah. grateful, you know, to yeah. the fans who kept me employed all these years. Yeah. Because when I started, you know, I, I kind of got into music. I was teaching part time and not really making more money as a house painter, you know. And um, because of my teaching job at, at UCLA, I, I got I met some musicians, and they said, "Oh, we're we're making a record with Sonny Terry and Brownie McGee, mm. these two old blues guys." Okay. And so I wrote some music for them and. That's kind of how I got into the music business, and it's been like 45 years. 45 you know? years yeah. later, <laughs> it's still working out. Yeah. Still fun. <laughs> oh, man. I am so happy to be sitting here talking to you and to share that memory about Natalie Cole from yeah. a couple she years was, ago. Yeah, she was so great. Yeah, she was so great. Welcome back to the Capitol Jazz Fest. Thank you. Are you on social media at all? Yes, I, <laughs> I have a Facebook page. I, you know, pretty... I'm not very good about, you know, <laughs> posting on it, but, 
And then there's this, yeah, and uh, well, I have a website, which is probably got cobwebs on it. Now, nobody <laughs> seems to use the web, be interested well, in websites. Well, they kind of do, but you're not, so, okay, you're not on Instagram, you're not on no, Twitter. No. So if people wanted to connect with you, Facebook might be the way. Yeah, no, that, uh, Facebook is pretty, is pretty accurate, pretty, uh, the time, the time is, I think I'm only a week or two behind right okay. now. And this is a busy period. <laughs> so I'm going to send you a note on Facebook, and I'm going to see how long it takes you to hit me back. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Sure. This is so much fun. Can't wait to hear your set tonight. You. Michael Franks and Angela Stribling for Capital Jazz TV. Hi, this is Michael Franks. You're watching Capital Jazz TV.